You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I. On. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. Today I'm bringing you some after dark cleaning motivation and what I like to do usually when I get home from work during the week is just set a one hour timer on my phone and see what all I can get done in that amount of time. That way I can keep up on all my mess but I don't have to run myself ragged cleaning every single day. So as you saw I set my timer and I'm just going to go around to each room of the house and see what all I can get picked up. And of course, this is something you can implement at any part of the day, whether you have children and they may be taking a nap or if they're doing schoolwork or e-learning, if you can get away and just take a little bit of time and dedicate that to getting some things picked up, it really does help when you go back to do your major cleaning. That way you don't have a whole bunch of stuff to do. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab anything that needs to go in the dishwasher or the kitchen and be thrown away, which if you've been here before, you know, there's always something in my bedroom so I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of that stuff and get it into the trash or the dishwasher or wherever it needs to be and I also went ahead and grabbed my robe and any dirty clothes that needed to go to the hamper. So if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. I really appreciate it. And if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Mandy, and I'm so super excited that you decided to click on my video today. It means so much to me. I want you guys to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you came in for some cleaning motivation today. And also go ahead and introduce yourself in the comments below if this is your first time here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, not too long ago, I had asked you all if you prefer videos that are either up to 15 minutes long or 20 minutes or over. So I went ahead and decided that I would do this video that's going to be a little bit less than 15 minutes just to see how you guys feel about it. So I would really appreciate your feedback and let me know in the comments if you enjoy shorter videos like this or if you really get into the longer motivating videos that are anywhere between 20 and 35 minutes long. Once I finish getting most of the things cleaned up in the kitchen, I'll move on into the living room and get all of Bodie's toys picked up and then I'll always go and clean the couch. And because there wasn't a lot to do today, I went ahead and just dusted off the furniture in here. Like I said before, because we have the dark wood furniture and Bodie is white, we've got hair all over the place. So I like to go ahead and take a few minutes and tackle that too.
always interested to hear all of your tips and tricks on keeping your house clean during the week. If you have something that you like to do, maybe to just jazz things up sometimes, because I mean, let's face it, cleaning can be boring. I do love to clean, but I also like to do it when I've got the time, like on the weekends when I can dedicate two days to just getting everything done the way I like it. I love to clean, but if there's something that I know that can save me some time or make things a little bit easier, I'm always down to try it. And I love that you guys share tips in the comments. That way everybody else can see it and share with others. So if there's something that you guys do to make it easier on yourself during the week, let me know in the comments. I would love to find some new hacks on keeping my house clean. You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands so earlier on in the week, I had actually taken an entire day and dedicated it to laundry. So luckily on this night, all I had was one load of whites that needed to be done. So I went ahead and threw that in there. That way they could be washing while I was finishing up elsewhere. And I just needed to throw it in the dryer as soon as I got done. All the clockwork of our romance, you make me feel so alive. If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Another thing that I will do during the week, if it's just going to be me and Ruben, is I will make a frozen dinner, and I'm not ashamed of that. I'm sure a bunch of us do, and these Stover's meals are delicious. It's usually just enough for the both of us, and generally, there's a little bit left over for lunch the next day, so it works out perfectly fine. So while I have that in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and tackle my bathroom. All right, you guys, so I've got a quick question for you. I've had some messages on my cleaning videos about having my toilet in these videos. So a lot of people either don't want to see it, they think it's gross, or they don't mind it at all. I personally don't mind cleaning my toilet on film because 
it's part of my house and it's part of cleaning. So I think that gives other people motivation to do so. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Leave me a one word answer in the comments. Yes to keeping the toilet cleaning in the videos or no that you don't want to see it in these videos. And I just I'm really curious to see what a lot of you guys think because I've had more of these messages than you would think. And it's weird. Like I get weird messages a lot and weird comments and I'm okay with it. But that one was just that's that's an uncommon one but I've had more of those than than you would actually think so let me know in the comments if you think that cleaning the toilet in these videos is necessary or not So if you guys are new here, that is Bodie, my two-year-old lab, and he has this weird thing about the vacuum cleaner like you saw in the living room. He will just stand directly in front of it, and I don't know why. If you guys know anything about animal behavior, and if you know why he does that, please let me know in the comments below. It doesn't bother me. It's just weird, and I don't know why he does it. But after I've got everything cleaned up, I'll go ahead and vacuum, and I will take my Clorox sanitizing spray almost every night and spray down the couch because Bodie likes to get up there, and I want to make sure it's all nice and clean. And then I can just take the rest of the evening and relax. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it gave you tons of motivation maybe to implement this theory into your home a few times a week. It truly does help me when I go back to do my deep cleaning. But make sure that you are subscribed before you go. Click that red button down there on your right hand side and follow me over on Instagram. And as always, I love you and I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye.